We've heard from Ben Bernanke extensively over the past two days on the state of the U.S. economy. Existing home sales fell less than expected last month, and companies from Caterpillar to UPS to Qualcomm raising profit forecasts in the past 24 hours. Now let's get a perspective on the economy from a CEO whose company's profits are closely tied to U.S. GDP. John McConnell, the head of steel processor Worthington Industries. His company makes everything from metal frames for construction applications to cylinders for scuba tanks to auto parts. So obviously a lot of different um, sort of tendrils going out into the economy. So, John, first of all, thank you so much for coming in. It's nice to see you. Well, thanks for having us. Um, so when you look at your different lines of business, I mean, what are you seeing in terms of demand? What does it tell you about how the economy is doing? Well, we're, in, as you pointed out, in a lot of different segments. I think it's good to look at our steel company. Uh, we, we segment at about 15 different touch points in the economy. And all but two of them are up, some only up 2 or 5 percent, uh, some up over 100 percent. I'd say on average uh, our demand is up about 70 percent from about a year ago. Uh, and that's pretty consistent across the board except in our steel stud business that we also supply, and that's one of the segments that's down. Appliance is down about 2 percent mm -hmm. And steel studs are used for? Uh, metal construction. Okay. So building construction well, which and, takes the place of a wood stud. And, and about 40 percent of your business is for construction, it, correct? Uh, correct in different sizes. That business is obviously diminished quite a bit with right. the way the commercial construction market is. But we're also uh, associated with metal buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, we do culvert and uh, touch so, a lot of different parts so of So basically sort of X construction, X real estate, the rest of what you're looking at uh, seems relatively strong. Very good. Incrementally better since September of 09. So when you look at um, some of the gains that you all have had in metal framing specifically, which is um, related to construction, do you think that kind of a gain can be sustained given what we're seeing in the construction business? Well, I think the, the metal framing side, maybe we were a little, I was confusing on that, but that market is definitely soft and down. Okay. It's one of the two segments that is down. Gotcha. What's your outlook for steel prices right now? I think they'll continue to soften, but not a lot more, um, and probably rebound in the next three or four months. And how concerned are you about e the economy weakening? I mean, some, it's been sort of a mixed picture in terms of what the outlook of economist Ben Bernanke was relatively uh, not pessimistic or relatively yeah. upbeat for the second half of the year. Do you share his optimism? I do. We're going to remain cautious. I think we're just like any household in the United States right now. We're going to be cautious. We think things will get incrementally better, uh, probably a little uneven, but continue a steady uh, but slow growth. And you all are very tied to the U.S. economy in particular, right? I mean, Correct. a vast majority of your business is here in the U.S. Do you all forecast how GDP is going to do going forward? We uh, are probably around a 3% looking at uh, our next fiscal year, which runs between now and mid-11. Um, I'm also curious what you're doing in terms of uh, acquisitions. I know you made an acquisition of Gibraltar. Yes. Um, anything else that you're planning going forward on that front? Well, we've got uh, two smaller cylinder acquisitions that were just in front of the Gibraltar acquisition. And we have a pretty full pipeline of things we're looking at, both in cylinders uh, and steel and uh, some joint ventures abroad. Are you looking more on the large side or sort of smaller incremental acquisitions? Most are going to be small to medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, just quickly as well, um, one of the analyst notes I saw said that the company is perhaps looking at a weaker 2011 or at least uh, somewhat of a slowdown in growth. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? I didn't see that and we certainly wouldn't say that that's what we expect. We expect uh, both through adding to the company in its size and uh, continue to get better. We've really worked hard the last two and a half years to become a much better company, and I think we're being successful at that. So we anticipate growth going up. Okay, John, thanks a lot for coming in and joining hey, us. Thanks Appreciate for having it. Us. John nice McConnell is CEO of Worthington Industries, uh, which is a steel processor and metal processor.